Hello guys, Crispy here and welcome back to another video. Today, my friends, is Sunday, so that means one thing. It's time for another one of those beautiful videos. And today, I got my friend's NVIDIA GeForce GTX 980 from uh, ASUS. This one is the Strix version of the card. You can see that it's quite big and beautiful. That's what she said. <laughs> this is quite a beefy cooler. It makes a very, very good job of cooling this GPU and it's actually pretty good looking in my opinion. I really like the 900 series Strix design of cards with the all eyes right here. Yes, these are supposed to be all eyes. Anyways, friends, let's just install this beast in the system and see what it can do in 2020, shall we? Okay, my friends, here we go. We are in the desktop, of course, as you can see. GeForce GTX 980 right there. I didn't overclock it further than the stock clocks from factory. It actually comes factory overclocked because it's a Strix version of the card. I'm running it with a Ryzen 7 3700X and 16 gigs of RAM, as always. Let's get into our first game here, which is gonna be Call of Duty Modern Warfare Warzone Season 5. Let's go over the settings here in Call of Duty Warzone. I'm playing at 1920 by 10 80 of course 1080p resolution I'm also using like the high settings throughout the the settings menu over here these all of these are disabled okay my friends we are now dropping in downtown which is one of the most intensive areas here in Call of Duty Warzone oh my god just look at these textures <laughs> I guess the game is just a little bit broken, so I'm gonna use the, the normal ones right now and set it back to low again, and it should be fine. Alright, there we go. See? Quick fix right there, friends. If you're having trouble rendering textures here in Warzone, just do that and you'll be absolutely fine. Well, some of the textures are still pretty damn bad. Anyways, friends, that's what you get with 4 gig cards in 2020, my friends. I think it should probably drop from 60 FPS just a tiny bit once we get to that street over there so um, that's kind of a bummer but you know guys this GPU is six years old at this point it's I, I, I can't believe I'm saying the 900 series is old but as you can see right there 56 this is really demanding right here that's why I usually test it right in this area so um, yeah it does drop from 60 it's kind of getting the same FPS as the RX 570 look the textures are actually decent over here but then you look at, at your right and it's just completely bad. What the? What? What? Are you, what? <laughs> what just happened? Um. This is not good. This is not good. Oh boy. Okay, I got him. I got him. I got him. Everything is all right, friends. How oh, we we managed to do that? Okay. In the top of this huge building, if uh, that's your playstyle, you know, to camp in in the top of rooftops, you can see that it does drop from 60 as well, and quite a bit to the low 50s. So you might want to play this game at like um, ah the low settings. That should be absolutely fine, of course, at 1080p. Where the heck did he go? Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, what the hell? I didn't even see him. What the heck? Uh, okay, he was just camping there. Of course he was. So, well, guys, we got 73 FPS on average and 51% lows in Call of Duty Modern Warfare Warzone, which is a pretty decent result considering that we're playing at 1080p with the high settings. All right, friends, it's time for Red Dead Redemption 2, a very popular and very beautiful game that's also very very demanding we're playing at 1080p of course you can see the settings are like set to high ultra medium off yeah I, this game has a ton of settings and it's basically in the balanced preset right there and uh, okay so we're getting 40 over here which is not bad at all for a game like this one as I said this one is very very demanding and for a six-year-old GPU to be delivering very playable FPS in Red Dead Redemption 2 uh, with like high settings or medium set I don't even know man the, the slider is at the middle but most of the things are on high or ultra even so I don't know guys this game's just weird sometimes but anyways it's completely playable here on your GTX 980 okay what do you want buddy bye oh boy you shouldn't have taken this fight buddy all right let me just get out of here guys oh boy this is bad there's a ton of them actually <laughs> holy crap look at the map don't swear arthur there's no need for that they're just like uh, 10 guys trying to kill you and your horse is doing fantastically well right now god damn it guys this is bad all right okay all right 
Of course, your aim will str- Oh my god, of course I died. Yeah, we're going to Valentine right now, and in the woods, which is actually a very demanding area in this game, you can see that it doesn't really drop from 30 FPS, it's probably gonna be at 30 plus all of the time. Oh god, okay, of course, this is amazing. Perfect! As I am recording a video, I just got, like, bandits after me, or bounty hunters, whatever. I just want to get to Valentine, please, Roach. Roach, you can do this! You can do this, Roach! Come on, I believe in you. I just want to see our FPS in here. Hello, boy. Hello. They're not fighting me anymore. Why? Why? Why is that? I, I don't understand this game sometimes. Anyways, friends, you can see that it drops into the low 30s over here. And as this one also utilizes DirectX 12, that's also why the GTX 980 isn't doing as well as it could, you know. It will do much better in DirectX 11 titles, for example. Let's stop it right there. 38 FPS. Yes, on average, 31, 1% lows. Very, very beautiful and playable. My friends, my friends, my friends. Uh, we are now playing PUBG, of course. 1080p resolution, high settings across the board, as you can see. And uh, it seems like it's gonna run pretty well here on the GTX 980, of course. And I expect nothing less. Okay, friends, we are in the ground right now. Let's start counting the FPS. God damn it, there's a guy right there. Okay, okay, I wasn't expecting anybody with me here. Hopefully, this is gonna go smoothly and I won't die right away. Please give me a, a weapon. Okay, thank you very much, game. All right, okay, guys, okay. We just need to take this very, very carefully. Okay, God damn it. Everything is fine right now. I'm gonna try to get that guy. And as you can see, our FPS are really, really good for an, a six-year-old card, actually. Uh, GTX 980 is still definitely capable of running this game. There's the odd stutter here and there, of course, but that's absolutely normal for a game like PUBG. It just stutters. You just gotta get used to it, friends. Where the heck is he? Where the heck is he? Oh my god, okay, yeah, okay. Everything's fine. Everything's all right, guys. So guys, even if if you want a high refresh rate experience in PUBG with a GTX 980, you can have it. Um, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Okay, we got another one, friends. I think I see somebody right there, guys. What the hell? Is that, what the hell is that guy doing? I think that that's just an AFK guy. All right, we got another kill, guys. Perfect. Oh, 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 I see you, buddy. I see you. I killed you. Yeah, boy. Oh, my gosh. I have no idea what I'm doing right now, guys. How is this happening? Whoa, 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 Oh, god damn it. Okay, then. Well, fair enough. We, we did pretty well anyways. We're now playing GTA 5, which is not a new game whatsoever, of course, but it's a very popular one. We're playing at 1080p with two times MSAA enabled. Some anti-aliasing going on right there. Everything is set to, like, the very high or ultra settings, except for the post effects and the shadows, which are not set to NVIDIA PCSS. And over on the advanced settings, everything is turned off of of course, let's just get into it, friends. Start counting our FPS, as you can see. And the game is looking really, really sharp and beautiful because of that MSAA anti-aliasing. I already tested GTA 5 on the 980, actually, last week. But I didn't test it with MSAA enabled. So this is a completely new test, separate from the other video that I made at 1080p, 1440p and 4K. Uh, of course, GTA 5 came out on the PC in 2015, 2013 on consoles so it's right around the same time as the GTX 980 launched in September of 2014 so of course this GPU has no problems whatsoever running GTA 5 oh boy is this gonna be the first time that I don't hit anybody of course not the guy had to get right in front of me obviously just let leave my car alone dude what the heck are you doing Okay, let's just hope that the car doesn't explode right now, or I'll be very, very mad. Oh my god. Oh, okay. Okay, everything's alright. It really did seem like it was gonna explode. Okay, so this is the most intensive area in our benchmark run, of course. And it's running at around, like, 40s, 50s. It's still very playable, obviously. So, well, that's it for GTA 5. We already ran through our benchmark run over here. And we got 80 FPS on average and 43 FPS, 1% lows. Pretty good stuff. 
All right, everybody, we're now playing Assassin's Creed Odyssey 1080p, as you can see, of course, with the high settings preset. This is it. Take a look at it. This is kind of similar to what we got with the RX 570 again in this game. So this is not really too bad, to be honest. Holy crap. Okay, so this is a little city that I found. Actually, it's quite a big one and it's pretty demanding as well. And we're still getting well above uh, playable FPS. Playable in this game, I would say is like 40 maybe 30 fps even but sometimes you actually have to aim your bow so um i guess 40 fps is reasonably good for that some people actually say that this game is very badly optimized and uh, if it actually is badly optimized i guess the 980 isn't doing a bad job whatsoever like this is a 2019 game of course it's very very demanding and uh, one of the most demanding games that i played so far like more demanding than this one will probably be red dead redemption 2 and ghost recon breakpoint which we are also going to be taking a look at today um okay all right I, this guy's level 20 by the way i should not be doing this but it should be quite easy anyways yeah we're doing pretty well the 980 is doing pretty well as well oh my god i'm almost dying i'm not doing pretty well what the heck oh my god okay i wasn't paying any attention to my health there but we should be fine we should be able to just finish him off oh my god okay okay oh my come on come on come on buddy we can do this Oh my god, I'm missing everything. All right, we made it. Good stuff. But the good thing about this game is that the FPS don't vary too much. So you, you'll have pretty much around 45 to 55 FPS in every single area in this game. So that's a good thing, obviously. And, um, well, I guess that's it for uh, Assassin's Creed Odyssey. It's perfectly playable, as you can see. I will, of course, make a separate video testing the 980 in this game. So keep tuned in for that. All right, my friends, we are now playing some Far Cry 5. As you can see, I'm playing at 1080p right there. Ultra settings across the board. HD textures are actually native. And it says that we are going over the VRAM limits by just a little bit So hopefully the game won't really stutter too much because that means that it will probably do Okay, so far the FPS are pretty damn good still of course This game is two years old by the way So the GTX 980 wasn't really that old when this game came out Get over here boy, he's dead How did they manage to open the door while they're dead? I just can't understand this Sometimes I actually hit one in the head and the guy instantly dies, but he still keeps screaming for some reason. <laughs> Everything is good, my friends. You know, the game's completely playable, aside from the odd stutter here and there because of the textures, of course. Um, but um, yeah, you could definitely play Far Cry 5 with a GTX 980. Absolutely fine, above 60 FPS on average. It will probably drop into the 50s sometimes and our 1% lows suggest it, but I think that's just because of the stutters. But yeah, once you get some explosion in the screen and you go to a more demanding area than this one um, actually forest areas are pretty demanding in this game as well uh, you should see your FPS dropping into the high 50s and stuff like that look at it right now 58 59 in the water so um, yeah it's still completely playable obviously especially for a single player title I would have liked to see 60 FPS all of the time with the 980 here in this game this is still pretty good you know the 980 is kind of like a GTX 1066 gigabyte in performance of course the 1066 gig is a little bit of a better buy because first of all it consumes less power and second it actually has the six gigs of VRAM which will help a lot with those stuttering issues this is still a go for Far Cry 5 if you have the GTX 980 you can definitely play this game absolutely fine okay everybody we're now playing some Fortnite here with the GTX 980 of course 1080p resolution high settings across the board direct DirectX 11 because it actually runs better than DirectX 12 in the 900 series graphics cards. Let's go. Okay, okay. It's actually stuttering quite a lot because Fortnite is absolutely completely broken. This game is just absolutely horrible when it comes to optimization. With every single update, they just break the game more and more. Okay, what should we do right now, guys? I think we should just try to get that guy over there. We got a stutter right there, by the way. Oh, the, the the house is on fire actually I set everything on fire that's perfect I'm just gonna send another flare to heaven oh man okay 
All right, this is a bot, guys, so we should be able to handle this pretty well. Um, friends, we can actually drive cars right now in Fortnite. That is, um, I don't know what it is. This doesn't seem to drive very well. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> like, the handling is not quite there, I think. What the? What? What is this bot doing, guys? Look at him. He's just running towards me. Oh, this is so easy like this. It's not even fun. Oh, yeah. So much loot, my friends. That's what I'm talking about. Yes, please. Can I take this shot, guys? No. I suck. I suck with sniper rifles in this game. I don't know the bullet travel. All right, I hit one. Oh, what the hell? Okay, then, um, <laughs> whoa, 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 just chill, buddy, just chill, you, you, you're good, you're probably gonna die, what, 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 what are you doing, buddy, oh, gosh, I think I've, I'm playing against oh, bots or uh, mobile users, probably mobile users, I don't know, my boy is actually playing on mobile, okay, so, yeah, um, all right, another one down, well, okay, then, y you guys are gonna die, you know that, right? Oh my god, oh my god, what the hell, I didn't know you could do that. Okay, alright, everybody's dead, just how I like it. Oh boy, oh boy, okay, that was quite intensive, wasn't it? Okay, yep, alright, that is um, the best, this is the best game that I've ever had in Fortnite, friends. Oh boy, okay, another guy there, alright. That's a bot. All right, we, we took care of it. Ah, this is so easy. What is going on? I think I'm the only one playing on mouse and keyboard is in this entire game, guys. This is so weird. Um, I, I think we're gonna get this, like, right now. I'm just gonna reload it, take my time, you know. What is going on? What happened? What was this game? Okay, everybody, right now we're playing some Ghost Recon Breakpoint at 1080p, as you can see, 1920 by 1080 We're gonna use some anti-aliasing because it makes the game look a lot prettier. I don't know why. Like, I disable it and it looks like there's less ambient occlusion, less shadows, less saturation for some reason. That's not how anti-aliasing is supposed to work. But anyways, let's just keep on moving here. This is the high settings preset and I just changed the texture resolution to medium because on high, it actually goes over for gigabytes of usage so yeah unfortunately it's one of those games that we have to keep the textures on medium because we only have four gigabytes of vram but anyways friends this is still amazing okay uh, in this game you don't need 60 fps and this is another one of those games where the visuals are just incredible like look at it the, the textures are actually on medium and they they still look pretty good and detailed guys it's only the ground textures that don't look as good but the game overall is still a visual masterpiece in my opinion. Just leave me alone, buddy. Can I kill him actually? Maybe I can. Alright, I, I think I killed one of them. Yes, he's just dropped there. So, well, this is... Oh, yeah, nice. Okay, it's gonna explode there. Perfect. Okay, we're actually doing fine right now. We got a single stutter right there. Uh, maybe because of the no it's not because of the vram because it's not maxed out but you know what guys this is still very playable i forgot to turn off the motion blur it's certainly like a lot better than the gtx titan that i tested uh, a month ago or something like that that one was getting 35 fps on average if i'm not mistaken at 1080p medium settings so uh, the gtx 980 is definitely a very very strong card at least compared to the titan which is basically Based on the Kepler architecture, which hasn't really aged very well, and I might die here actually, guys. God damn it. Okay. There are so many enemies just shooting at me right now. This is so difficult to control, by the way. But it's perfectly playable, my friends, okay? That's the point of this, and uh, you can definitely play some breakpoint and enjoy it with the GTX 980. It's still not out of date for a game like this one, which is a good thing. Alright, everybody, we are now playing some Battlefield 5 at 1080p with the high settings preset as you can see right here let's get into it oh boy explosions and stuff this game looks pretty good but i don't like the taa anti-aliasing implementation on it it just makes everything kind of not seeable too much i can't really spot people very well in this one we're fine are we fine are we fine are we... oh my god oh my god oh my god i suck i suck in battlefield right now god damn it why 
Whoa, 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 whoa. See that? I could barely see the guy there. He was right in front of me. Like, ugh. Oh my god, so many. Okay, okay. All right, I'm dead again, obviously. Oh, so many right there, guys. I'm gonna throw a nade. Come on, don't block me. Okay. I, come on, don't block me. Dude, what the hell? One down. Let's go. Whoa, 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 my god. Why are you camping there? Keep on moving. Oh, boy. All right. Everything is fine. Another one there. Another one there. Okay. We finally did something right now, guys. Holy. Now I'm the one camping, my friends. Hell yes. All right, another one down. Just keep on coming to me. Yes, please. There's one here. All right. 78 FPS on average, 61% lows. Really good experience here in Battlefield 5 with a 980. All right, we're now playing some Apex Legends at 1080p with the low settings and high textures. And uh, why am I not playing with high settings? I have no idea. I just prefer to play at low settings in Apex, okay? All right, there we go. Let's start counting our FPS. And these are extremely good results. I wasn't expecting it to run this well because Apex actually runs better on newer cars and newer generation of cards. And of course the GTX 980 being 6 years old, I certainly wasn't expecting like 100 plus FPS on average over here. Let's just throw a smoke and see our FPS inside of it. And uh, it seems like it doesn't really drop too much. Okay, if at all. Tango spotted. A lot of people trying to make the world a better place down here. But we're not supposed to talk about that. What? What are you talking about, Bangalore? Uh, what what the heck is going on? <laughs> oh, there's one of them. Okay. Oh my god. Okay, okay. All right, guys. We're, sh we're good. We're good. We're screwed. We're screwed. We're pretty much dead right now. Okay. There are quite a few enemies around here, guys. We need to be careful. Where are they? There he is. One down. Okay. Can't really see because of that thing. Alright, one down. And come on. Oh my god, no. Oh man, <laughs> I was trying. I will be really impressed if we can get another win, guys. Let's just throw our ultimate there. Okay. Alright, it's raining bullets. Hell yes, that's how I like it. Let's go. Where are they now? One down. Let's go, guys. We can do this. No. Come on. Yeah, boy. All right. We got them. Let's go, buddy. I'm going to revive you right now. Uh-oh. 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 We should be fine right now. We just got inside of the portal to get away from them. Oh, man. They're here as well. Are you serious? Oh, come on, dude. He's so low HP, by the way. No, you can kill him, guys. Come on, please. Okay, friends, right now we're playing a game that's really, really taxing on older architecture of GPUs. It's Doom Eternal. We're playing at 1080p, high settings across the board, as you can see. And uh, let's just go ahead and see how well the GTX 980 can do this. As you can see, we're below 60 FPS sometimes. Other times, we're actually above 60 FPS. So um, I guess the GTX 980 can still... Uh, play this game absolutely fine. Okay, okay. I don't care. I don't care. I just Yes, okay. God damn it. Oh my god, seriously. Okay, here we go. Let's just all right. There we go Okay, let me kill some demons. All right good stuff as you can see we're in the 40s Sometimes the game is still playable don't get me wrong and if you run it on low It will probably get closer to 60 although this game doesn't really change too much when uh, you change the presets So uh, there's that as well. For example, the GTX Titan wasn't even able to run this game properly. Are you freaking serious? <laughs> let me play the damn game i've already gone through all of this i'm just repeating this because of the video all right okay 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 there we go some action going on but well guys as i was saying the gtx titan which uh, was a really high-end card of course back in the days in 2013 when it came out 
it's just it couldn't do 30 plus fps all of the time on low settings in this game guys so this is really really demanding on older end hardware uh, or on older hardware actually not older end not as good as for example the rx 570 definitely not as good as a gtx 1060 even but that's because this game runs in the vulcan api and newer architecture of gpus are just way better optimized to run on the vulcan api than these old cards from nvidia at least so well um i guess this is uh, doom eternal we can't really take some averages and one percent lows because msi afterburner doesn't want to work in this game right guys to finalize this video i spent the last couple of hours installing horizon zero dawn as you can see this new game that released on pc right now it's actually been out on ps4 for quite a while obviously but now we got access to it and it's running at 1080p right here with the high settings okay these are the high settings or favor quality settings and i just disabled motion blur because well i i just don't like motion blur you know me right let's start counting our fps i'm gonna show you just a little bit of uh, running around here in this first section of the game or area right now and then i'm gonna do the benchmark run the problem with the benchmark run is that it actually stutters way too much and i don't think it's representative of of the actual gameplay right here because it's running smoothly right now although we're not seeing 60 fps the game looks amazing and it's still running pretty well here on the 980 i think in the benchmark we also got like 44 or 43 fps on average so it's kind of the same as in this area right here and in the benchmark run it's actually like it goes over a huge city and stuff like that but it still gets pretty much the same results as here but our one percent lows there are actually at like six so that's absolutely insane now uh, we saw a couple of stutters already right there there are a lot of people here on steam saying that this is a bad port and it's running really awfully for them and i guess that's just because of the hard drive i have installed it on the hard drive because i don't have space on my ssd i have to uninstall call of duty modern warfare to make room for this one i will of course test this game out in a lot of gpus including the gtx 980 during the next week as you can see again i think it's just stutters whenever you're rendering in a new area you know so um they definitely need to take care of that like this shouldn't be there but the good thing is the gtx 980 itself which is what we are uh, testing today obviously it can actually run this game pretty well and it looks really really beautiful guys like i i gotta tell you i'm playing at 1080p uh, in a 1440p monitor but it still looks amazing okay run benchmark here we go Finally, gosh, this is a huge benchmark, guys. So we got 45 FPS on average, but uh, of course it catched a little bit of the FPS from the menu here. So yeah, three FPS minimum, which is pretty bad, obviously. But you know, overall, pretty decent performance if it wasn't for the stutters. So let's just skip to the conclusion right now. Let's go. All right, my friends, it's time for the conclusion of this video. Do I recommend the GeForce GTX 980? in 2020 if you can find it on the used market for like a hundred 110 bucks maybe 120 but that might be pushing it a little bit because that's like rx 570 new territory so you might as well just buy that one brand new and it will actually outperform this one in newer titles but then again this one outperforms the 570 in fortnite pubg it's a tough call, actually. All in all, it's still a very decent card. If you're rocking one of these and are wondering if you should upgrade, maybe wait for the newer generation. Like, it's not worth it to go out and buy, like, a 2070 Super, at least right now, okay? Because we're just a couple of months away from the new gen. So, yeah, it's a pretty decent card, even in 2020. And for the right price, it's actually worth it. So thank you so much for watching this video, my friends. Really hope that you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to give it a like and subscribe if you haven't already. I will see you all in the next video. Expect some Horizon Zero Dawn benchmarks very, very soon during this week. Next Sunday, I will be bringing another GPU in a video like this one. So thank you so much for watching again. And as always, I love you all.
Bye-bye.